de Carabaris, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I have a special guest I would like you to meet. Sai Hum Kelly. And we met at our yoga class, although we'll wait to the end of the program to show you any of our yoga moves. <laughs> and Sai, would yes. uh, you like to tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Yes, um, I'm a teacher and I have four beautiful boys. I love to cook. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to be featuring a dish from her native country of Cambodia, which is called... This is a fresh roll, we call it Nan Chow. And this will be perfect summer food too, our nice light dish you can have any time of the year. So yes, it's very, let's get started. It's very healthy. <laughs> And uh, as you can see, as you know, I always like to, yes, you've got it, mise en place. So everything's in its place and you're ready to start cooking. And especially this dish, it's very important to do that, right, Sai? Yes. We, yeah, we did a lot of prep up front. Yes. So the first thing I like to prep is the garlic. So you need one whole head of garlic. Okay. Um, I could just take this off. Okay. What I like to do, I like to chop this myself. Yep, you're going to need the whole head for this, yes, I'm correct? Need the whole thing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be preparing is what's called the garlic oil. Am I right in saying yes, that? Yes, okay. garlic oil. Okay. So, so like um, yep. Yeah, you just let me know when you need me to heat up the pan. Oh, wow. Okay. You can heat up the pan now. Wow. Okay, I do. I can't chop garlic like this. So, wow. So. Yeah, I can tell, Sai, you've had a lot of experience <laughs> doing this. Okay, so and cooking for five people. Make it six, including myself. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you do get a chance then to sit down and eat occasionally. Okay. <laughs> so you'll need the oil. Make sure the oil is warm before we put the garlic in. Okay, is that good on low? We're yes. going to start this on low. Yes. And we're using one cup of uh, any kind of vegetable oil, is that correct? Yes, vegetable okay. oil is good. Okay. All right. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, do you do like this too when you're cooking? Uh, not that fast. No, <laughs> I'm not as fast as you are, so I'm learning something. But yeah, I learned, uh, you know, to, to crush the garlic like that on the flat side of the knife to mm. peel it. Yeah. But, um... I make a lot of noise when wow. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> noise is good. <laughs> okay. Wow. That smells great. Just peel this. Is there a lot of garlic in Cambodian cooking? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. Just like Italian, the more the better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course, my background being half Greek. You know, the Greeks a lot garlic, onions, olive oil. Oh. Is what just about everything starts with. So. Okay. okay. I'll leave that one there. Okay, that oil shimmering a little. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now this garlic we're going to be using for um, several of our preps, so that's why we need this much normally. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Do you need another bowl to divide it, or? Uh, no, when we pour it in, I'll just separate them into the smaller bowl. Ah. Now, I know I have bad experience with this one, especially with frying garlic. Normally I just put everything in. That's not good, so what I want to do is I just want to press it. Oh, to this see the heat of the oil, is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. Okay, so. and then we can move that over here. So is that good or do you need me to turn it down a little? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, good, okay. So, let me bring this over. Now I can put everything in. Aha. Uh -huh. And just be very careful with this process, correct? With yes. the oil? Yeah. Oh, yes, we don't yeah. want that to pop on you. Okay. So I'll use this one. Now, how long do we cook the... Uh, uh, normally, I cook until the garlic turns brown. Brown, yes. okay. So 
But if you uh, stick with time, it's about two, three minutes. Mm. Now with this, you don't want to burn it or you don't want to cook too fast. Um, you see how the garlic is starting to turn brown? Yes. This is perfect. Perfect. So mm -hmm. you want me to shut off the heat? Yes, please. So what we're going to do is, and this is a metal, so I want to be careful. Very careful with this, so, correct? Yep. Never yeah. pull it taut, you pull away. Oh, wow. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh, it smells wonderful. Mm, thank you. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that still simmering in there. Yes, wow. that, that's why when you pour this in here, you don't want to wait until it's all brown in the pan because it's actually it's still gonna, cooking. Okay, here. I see that. Yeah, mm. now see, I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have thought it would have stopped cooking Im almost immediately, but mm. it's not. Okay, okay we just finished um, frying the oil, so I'll leave this here because it's hot. Now we're going to transition from here and we'll make another sauce. It's the peanut sauce. So Linda is boiling the water now. We put two cups of water in there. Yeah. And we're going to, after the water's boiled, I'm going to put the sugar in. And then I put half a cup of, um, this is the fish sauce. And with the vinegar, I will not put that in until the, um, the sauce is cooled down. And I'll put one teaspoon. Now, um, why is that, Sai? Why are you putting in the vinegar last after it cools? Um, because we have the sugar and the fish sauce together. Mm -hmm. um, and it's in the hot temperature. So if you pour this in right away, it will make the sauce taste really, really bad. Oh, <laughs> OK. It wouldn't be tasty So at all. all about technique. Yeah, yes. you have mm -hmm. to let certain things cool down before you add others or, OK. Now, you might want to describe to viewers, because I think a lot of them won't be familiar with this fish sauce. Um, so this is used in a lot of Asian cooking, am I correct? Yes, um, this one is from Thai Kitchen. Yep. Normally, any fish sauce would be good. You don't have to get a certain brand, so. And a fish sauce is fermented anchovies, if I recall correctly yes. from mm -hmm. reading? Okay. Yes. And very central to your cooking and Thai cooking and... Yes, almost every meal we use um, the fish sauce. The fish sauce, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I really have to emphasize to viewers, really, you need to try this, especially to get the flavor of the, the country because it is a flavor profile and it's just very salty and briny. And as Sai was saying, it really is central to all types of your cooking. Your, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, our water is boiling. So I'm going to bring this over so, so I can finish this sauce. All right. All right. So I'm going to put one cup of sugar. And you stir that until it dissolves, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once this is all, I'm going to add half a cup of fish sauce. Mm -hmm. okay, Let me know to, yeah. yeah. Wow. Here's a little bit of my trick. I didn't tell you that before, so for this to have a good taste, I can take a little bit of garlic ah. here and just throw it here. So just take a little bit of the garlic mm -hmm. out of the garlic oil. Yes, and I'll put okay. okay. Ah. Smell the garlic and it's mm. oh, wonderful. It smells so good. So I'm gonna let this sit. Okay, we're gonna let this cool. Yep, and then uh, we'll put that last. The okay, so probably what about maybe 20 minutes? About yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, very good. Mm -hmm. So we'll get set up for our next phase. Now, when do we need to? Do, I know there are noodles in the rolls. When do the noodles need to be okay, cooked? Okay, the, the noodle is something that we need to prep ahead of time. So probably after this one, we're gonna go to the that pot right there. It's boiling right now, so we are going to um, steam the noodle. Okay, our water has boiled, so I'm going to uh, dump in these fresh rice.
stick noodles. Now, if you're near an Asian market, you can get the fresh ones like this, but if not, then uh, you can get the dried ones in a regular supermarket. And then you just need to, if you get the fully dried ones, then you just need to boil them three and four minutes. But these we're going to put into the fresh ones. What's nice about these is they're going to have a better flavor than the dry. You plunge them into the boiling water. I've shut off my water because all you need to do is soften them. Now, Sai, how, how long do I stir this around for? Uh, you're going to stir around in a circle once, two, until five times. Three, four, four five. five. You're done? Done? Yeah. Okay. I'll stay away. I don't want to get burned. <laughs> Are you saying you don't trust me? <laughs> <laughs> hot water can be tricky. Yeah, yeah. And for me, it was the hot oil <laughs> when you were doing the hot oil. I usually don't do this. This I do a lot of. Make sure you rinse it all out. Oh, so you yeah. do rinse them? No, no, like um, take the water okay. from the noodle. Okay. Just like that? Mm -hmm. Is that good enough? That's good. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Mm. Now, notice that the noodle is sticky if you leave it like that. Yeah, very so, sticky. So, and that's the, that's the way those noodles are, is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes, very okay. sticky. So what I do is I take the oil that I uh, fry earlier and oh. I just flip them over. Hmm. Them over. And mix them up. that good or do you need do you want tongs or no, no this is good this is good no because this noodle is so fresh um, yeah yeah you don't want to just um turn them without control so oh. turn them very gently otherwise the noodles will come apart okay and then I put a little bit more this is a real labor of love, this dish. <laughs> yes, it's I can tell. Good. It's going to taste wonderful. Oh, you can so. tell. I mean, there's some prep work to it, but this is going to be well worth it, I can tell. <laughs> so I don't want to mm. turn this a anymore, and I don't want to cover this either, so I'm just going to leave it aside okay. and let it cool down. All right. That's it. That part is done. Wow. We're done okay. With the As you can see, We've mise en place for the final stage of this dish and look at all the fantastic ingredients here. And I just want to describe how we cut the shrimp earlier because I've never done this method before, but see how you got the flat side of the shrimp like that? Uh, just earlier we took the cooked shrimp and we cut them in half crosswise. And that's how we got this uh, nice piece of shrimp which is going to absorb all the flavor of the sauce we're going to put in this. Okay. So, all right, Sai, so, if you want to describe what you're going to do next. Okay, with this shrimp, I'm going to apply the last part, which is to put the garlic, a little bit of oil, mm. just sprinkle over, and then mix them up. This is the flavor that er, seems like everyone's missing, but if you mm. miss this part of the flavor, your nam chow is not going to taste too well. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that done and uh, so just a little bit of that oil the garlic oil again okay yes. yep and we have the chicken so notice that the chicken uh, it's chicken breast yep you can easily peel it and that's going to go on nam chow okay and um, this is called nam chow yes nam, nam chow nam mm -hmm. chow mm -hmm. okay uh, we already prepared the noodles so that one should cool down already yeah and this is the mint we wash it and dry it. This mm. is, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the basil. Okay. Oh, the mint or basil? Uh, let's this see. Is. Yeah, I have to. Mint. I was right the first time. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Usually I go by the smell. They do look similar. They do. Yeah, this is yeah. the basil. Basil. Uh, the Thai basil. I like the Thai basil because it's more flavorful. The, the one that they grow in the American supermarket. Yeah. Um, it's too plain. So if you can go to an Asian market, you're going to get these ingredients at a fraction of the cost that you would at a regular supermarket. So that's that's a good tip. Yes. Yeah. And this is the cucumber. Um, I did this earlier, so I 
kind of, what do you call that, shred? Yeah, you uh, peeled it in five, yeah, you, yeah, five ways, I guess, just leaving some of the green on. Yes, the reason I do that because when you put in a wrapper, it doesn't uh, break through and it's soft when you chew them. Oh, so. okay, and then you cut them on a uh, diagonal. Yes. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, so you had nice thin pieces. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's preferable uh, by people sometimes people use it really really thin I don't like it too thin because I, when I bite into my fresh roll I want a crunchy feeling so mm. that's why I cut it that big and we have the green lettuce yeah green leaf lettuce green yeah leaf. Uh, what you do is if you use the whole thing it'd be too big for a wrapper so we cut in half and make sure the tip is off okay, okay. and I have the bean sprouts already rinsed and um, most importantly, you have a warm water in the in the bowl, ready for um, the rice wrapper. So, these are my favorite kind. Um, it's from Mekong rice paper. This is from Cambodia. You know, mm -hmm. it's from Cambodia because it uh, has the elephant sign. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> it's called the white elephant. Um, okay. This is like a sticky rice. Yeah. Um, if you look at the sheet, it's mm. very fine. So fine and fragile. But um, it also allowed to be uh, quick soaked in the warm water. Okay. So, all right. I'll put this back in okay. for now. And it has to go in order because otherwise this will break. Okay. These will go last. And I have the shrimp. Okay. The chicken. Wow. And the noodle. Mm. Okay. I leave the oil here because this oil here, after I wrap it, I'm going to dip my finger in there. And and just spread to the uh, the outer part because these can be very sticky once you make multiple of them. Ah, so okay. I'm going to leave for that. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. What's this right here? Um, it's garlic and oil. Oh, just some more garlic and oil. Yeah, okay, okay. Stuff. You ready? I am. <laughs> I am. But you'll have to demonstrate the first one. Okay. <laughs> So this is mine. Mm. All right. Maybe we move that to the front. Okay. 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 Move this a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I so. better pay attention here. <laughs> it's not hard. Okay. So here you have one side that's kind of rough, one side is smooth. So when you dip it in, you go down this way. You roll it 360 degrees. Oh this my. Side. By the time you finish and go to the last part, it's done. And you put the rough side uh -huh. on top. Okay. Oh my goodness. So you so want it still a little bit firm. Mm -hmm. It will soften. See, feel it? Oh. It's already softened up. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you take the lettuce. Okay. Put it like this. My next piece would be bean sprouts. Now when you do the bean sprouts, yeah. you want to lay it this way, horizontally. Everything has to be lined up. Okay. And one piece of cucumber. Mm, boy. Now you see how I have chicken or shrimp? Yes. I can either go just for chicken or go just for a shrimp, depending on whether you like it or not. Sometimes people don't even want to put the meat. They do. Um, the for the vegetarian, they just do plain vegetable and noodle. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, for me, I like shrimp. So yeah, I love shrimp I too. Shrimp. And then my noodle. A couple of shrimp. The reason I put shrimp first because I want that to tuck in with the noodle. So same thing with my noodle. Everything has to be horizontally. Wow. Now I like basil a mm -hmm, lot. So. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like a lot of basil. You can just put one leaf. Okay. And, and you're going to add mint also? Yes. Yeah. Now, see, that's my Greek background, the mint. We use mint in a lot of things. Oh, not everybody yeah. likes mint. Right. So that's yeah, mint's kind of, yeah, <laughs> strong. So I put this here. Now, this uh. is the most important part. Ready? Okay. Yeah. So when we roll this, we tuck from one side. I like to do my right side because I'm right-handed. Okay. So. Wrap it like this. You see how when you put it in, it sticks. So you don't have wow. to worry. Same thing with this side. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be... It sticks. Okay. okay. 
then you want to wrap over the end. See how I go like this? Yeah, yeah. Now when I do this, mm. I have to be gently, but also control on all sides, not just one side. So press it gently. Wow. See how sticky it is? Yeah. So it, it is so sticky, you can touch it. Okay. Now you put in the plate before you serve. Um, it's going to be uh, very messy. So okay. what I do, I take a little oh bit of oil. Oh my goodness. And I wrap it around. Yeah, yeah. I know it looks funny, but it tastes really good. Wow. <laughs> now, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I know this one looks funny. <laughs> and this is done. Uh, one. One, yeah. <laughs> I'll bet you, though, once you get going, you can probably do oh, these yeah, very do really quickly. Quick. I'll make 50 in a few minutes. So, really? Yeah. Wow. Once I get everything all set up like this, everything <laughs> just picked up. All okay, right. So you want to try one? Okay. All okay. right. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Remember, oh, you have to feel the, the edges, the ridges. See, this is the rough side. Rough side. This is the soft side. Okay. Rough side toward me. Yep. Toward me because when I put it on the plate, rough yes. side up. Yes. Okay. 360. How's that? Looks good. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Wow, I've never done anything like this. Okay, that's amazing though. So now I pull it out because mm -hmm. the water's going to soak in and I've got it the right way. There we that's go. why rough side toward me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Green leaf lettuce. Correct? Yes. Okay. Just one. Just one is good. I want to lay that one as much as you want, but make sure it lays the same size of lettuce. Like that? Mm -hmm. Is that good? I'll put a little bit more. A little bit more? Okay. Now, the lesser you put, the smaller your roll. Okay. So, depending on how big you want it. All right. After that, it's cucumber. Cucumber next, mm -hmm. like this? Yes. All right. Then a choice of meat. I love shrimp myself, so just two shrimp? Uh, preferably. Usually I like four. Oh, <laughs> then I'll do another one. I love shrimp. I love shrimp. And okay. then noodle. Like that. A little bit more? A little bit more. Okay. That will taste really nice with the peanut sauce. Wow. That we're going to, yeah, we still got the peanut sauce, yes. right? <laughs> okay. Um, couple of basil, lay it across, and mint. Okay, this side. Well, you that know what? I got a nice size leaf right here. Oh, like one. that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. I don't know if you like to start with the left or the right. I'm right-handed. Okay. Use two hands, because one side hold here, one side here. Very sticky. Yeah, very. Okay. <laughs> no. It's okay. I can tell I'm going to have to have some more practice. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. All right. That will stay. So you take your hand off and try this side. Okay. <laughs> have I got my hands placed right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Remember, once to touch each other, it should stay. Just like this. Mm hmm Wow, oh, okay. Here's the hard part. <laughs> Take the bottom. Mm hmm I just can't believe how strong this is. You'd think it would tear over like this. Mm hmm And try and pull it tight, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. If it's loose, it doesn't taste good. Okay. Wow, this is so sticky. But that's what you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> not, not bad for a first not try bad. though, right? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. okay, now oh, I'm not done yet. Because now I wanna There we go. A little bit more, that's all that's, it needs. That's good. This is the finished product. So mm. she has one, I have one. 
This is the peanut sauce without the peanut. Uh, normally, people who are allergic to the peanuts, you don't have to put any peanut, just have the sauce. Um, oh, separate. Yes, yeah, separately. Okay. So even though we call that it peanut sense. sauce, don't put the peanut together. Okay. Um, I also have a ground pepper here. I love ground pepper. Um, not that spicy, like Linda said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. That's a chili garlic sauce, correct? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. chili garlic sauce. It comes in a little jar. So when we eat this, we don't eat the whole thing. It looks very inappropriate. So we cut it in half. I'm sorry, I said that again. <laughs> we cut this in half. Okay. I'll cut yours in half. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you, Sai. Okay. Um, now, how do we do this? I will put some peanut on mine. Oh, all right. Okay. Now you add the peanut to mm -hmm. the sauce. Yes. And okay. I like pepper, so I mm. like to add a little bit more. And it's your preference. So okay, like yeah, and I, I love peanuts, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to put as much sauce as you on this garlic chili pepper sauce, so, okay. Okay. Yeah, just stir it around. Yep, you can stir that around. Okay. And some people like the sauce to go here, but I like to dip it in. So oh, okay, so you just dip, you don't have to spoon it on. Mm -mm, nope. Okay. And you try first. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mmm, it looks good. Mmm. Mmm. I need some more pepper. <laughs> wow. It's fresh. Mm. You can taste everything in there that you put in. Every bite. You can have the way we layered it. With the rice noodles, the basil, the mint, the shrimp or chicken, just the freshness. Yes. Like you said, the lettuce, it's got crunchy. Mm, absolutely delicious. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show, Sai. I really you. appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for having me. No, oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I hope to have you back again. I hope to be back. I have a lot of cooking ingredients to share. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Linda Cara Barris. Thank you for spending time with me today. For more recipes and for previous episodes of Linda's Kitchen, log on to lindas-kitchen.com and I'll see you the next time.